Armored Core Law, the ex Sobrero. You can't hit what you can't see. I think this statement best describes the ex Sobrero. Though some of you will know this craft better as fragile, due to it being the partner of the number one Lynx in the mission Defeat White Glint. It's that one that sometimes is so fast you lose sight of it as it rains down hail's bullets into your necks, making your primal armor drop faster than Octavia sinking to the ocean. The ex Sobrero is a next from the mines of Aspina, and, well, it's unique to say the least. Strange, you could even say, as the only ex Sobrero to be piloted in Armor Core is fragile, but not by a human, instead a cyborg that is reported to have taken down many links with its inhumane piloting ability. But where did such a craft begin? In truth, much like most of Aspina's works, they are well hidden, they don't talk about it, and they don't want anyone to know. However, one can assume that the ex blueprint was crafted in the research colony of Aspina, before being handed off to Omer Science for production, since inside the Sobrero, its generator and boosters all come from Omer Science. But this next was not designed to be an Omer Science fighting machine, but as a field research next for them and Aspina. Its goal is to study its targets and then escape either with its speed due to its light weight and high energy, or in a hail of bullets from its machine guns as cover. But what if you wanted to take this craft into battle? How does the ex Sombrero fare in battle? Well, the out the box model contains no weapons, so I think it's best to focus on the only active and able to fight frame of this kind, Fragile. It should be noted before a Lynx even tries to pilot this craft that they should be experienced in piloting an X in all aspects, from quick boosting, quick turning, and knowledgeable about weapon ranges as Fragile requires it. Starting off with a major weak point, as a light craft, Fragile does not have a lot of armor points to take hits with. In fact, any weapons with high power, such as bazookas and even energy rifles, are likely to take down this craft either in one or two hits. To counter this weakness, a Link should focus on using Fragile's strength of its speed and flight to overcome it. Fragile is quick enough to avoid most shots and outmove any slow necks on the ground or in the air, with its high energy and tuning making its quick boosting and quick turning that much more effective. But being on the ground, I find hinders fragile. The craft just feels like it wants to fly, like it doesn't want to share the same space as its foes. The problem with this is in the air, fragile lacks great energy recovery. It can boost left and right, and even quick turn, making it dance in the sky. But doing too much of this, or trying to avoid missiles like this, will lead fragile falling back to the ground where it does not want to be. It's a strange Nexa pilot, I admit not wanting to be on the ground as it walks like it's doing the dance to everyone walk like a dinosaur. When first piloting this craft, you may find yourself wanting to stay far away from your foes, much like I did fearing the low AP. But Fragile is built for close combat, and being too far away will make this craft's weapons useless. In combat, Fragile offers its links two options. The first, the two machine guns it holds, called the XMG AO30s, which offer high attack power than the chain guns on Fragile's back, but they are less accurate. These weapons really do require Fragile to be close, but in return the machine guns easily cause the most damage and can tear through MTs, normals and even land crabs. However, when using these machine guns, Link should watch out for the reload time, as even though it's small, there is enough time for Fragile to take some hits. Another weakness is the accuracy of the XMG A30s, as I found trying to dodge and fire with these guns ends up with more shots missing than hitting the target. Still, should these machine guns not be enough, Fragile Law comes with two back-mounted chain guns, the XCG B-O-50s. These, these are beautiful weapons. Not in design, as to me they look very rigid and sharp, but as next killers, and accurate even during evading. The small damage output may make you think otherwise, but it's these that make Fragile a truly terrifying craft. If it gets close enough, and the other next is unable to get out of the way, then the chain guns will tear down primal armor in a flash, and rack up the damage of a next in no time. In all the matches between necks, piloting fragile this way close and personal with its foe, you can see it tear down foes like they were made of paper, as it dances across the sky like a black raven of death. Still, as much as I praise the XCG B050 chain guns, they do lack power and distance, and heavily armored necks or arms forts, merely laugh at them. And I'm not saying that because of the low power, I'm saying that because the ammo of these chain guns will run out, and a Lynx may still find an arms fort or even a heavily armoured Nex still going 
and ready to blast fragile into scrap. To put it bluntly, this craft is for the brave or the one who likes a challenge, because what a lynx is effectively putting themselves into is a fast paper bag with more bullets than an army can carry. It can kill fast and quick, but anything bigger with high ballistic resistance that can take a few hits will blow this nex out of the sky. Missiles are fragile's worst nightmare, as even this nex can't outrun them all. If I'm honest, I would not even suggest getting in this craft unless you have a death wish. But it's that challenge that makes the thrill to pilot, that fast paced, every second count, every hit a step towards death. It's a thrill ride, that if you manage to pull it off, you'll feel like you've toppled giants with a slingshot. This ends the report on the craft known as the Ex-Sobrero and Fragile.